Hey guys, today we are trying to um, turn on MIB unit on the bench. So I have the MIB unit over here facing back towards me. I have a MIB display. This is, for, this is from Volkswagen um, Composition uh, Media MIB 2. But the unit is uh, MIB 1 High from Skoda. This should not be an issue um, because uh, those displays and uh, units are using the same um, communication protocol, so we should be fine as long as the um, resolution of the display is correct. So all uh, MIB1 highs were using 800 by 480 pixel displays. They were 8 inch most likely, but this is 6.5, but with the same resolution, so it should work just fine. So over here we need two things. This is LVDS cable for the video signal feed, which goes into the gray connector on the unit. And we, we need to add some cables over here to this 12 pin connector. And those two, number one and number seven are the power. So the number one is 12 volts, number seven is ground. And this goes, this goes here to this 12 volt adapter. And what's uh, next over here? Number mm, three and number nine, I believe, if I'm correct. Let me just check. Yeah, number three and number nine are CAN bus cables, high and low signal for communication with the unit. And those are connected to the quad lock. And over here, uh, numbers um, five and 11 are also connected to the unit, those are uh, reset uh, signals. Okay, so this is pretty simple. Now let's check the MIB mine unit. So over here we have power. 12 volts over here, ground over here, and I'm going to power it through this 12 volt adapter, which provides uh, provides five amps this is more than enough i believe three amps are uh, are good to go over here this red and orange cable this is the um, can bus communication with the display and it's connected to, to the uh, quad lock connector to pins one and seven i believe and um, over here in pins two and eight, we have those reset signals. So that's pretty much it, I believe. Let's, uh, that's enough to turn on this on bench. So let's power it up. So let's start with the display. Now let's connect 12 volt to my unit. And right now, I believe, yeah, we have the Skoda logo over here, even though this is a Volkswagen display. So let's give it a couple of seconds for the system to load. Remember that we have just powered the unit. It was, it was not in standby, it was fully off. Okay, button, well, this button works at least. Let's check the control wheel, yeah. Okay, so I believe the CAN bus communication works correctly, video feed works correctly. Of course, since we don't have the um, communication with the vehicle or an emulator that would emulate, for example, ignition signal, we don't have access to all options. For example, you cannot access uh, Bluetooth, I believe. If we go to Bluetooth setup, we have this information that the ignition needs to be turned on. So there's uh, there are some things that we cannot do with this setup, uh, with this setup, but I will try to figure it out uh, soon enough. Okay, so right now we can press and hold menu button, for example. We can check what's the uh, software train over here. We can trigger an update. We can check version history and play with the system. For those uh, connections, you can use pretty much any wire. Just remember to, um, to twist the CAN bus communication. And about this, the 
image uh, line, the video line, well, you need the high-speed data cable. I will post a link to AliExpress in the description below this video if you want to get one of those cables. Well, those are pretty hard to source um, uh, used one because um, when someone is uh, disassembling the vehicle, they most likely will cut them, <laughs> which is pretty strange because those are pretty expensive and um, most uh, sometimes they are even uh, more expensive than the device that they are connected to. For example, the USB hub uses three or four cables like those and the hub itself costs like 10 bucks and each of those wires will be 15 bucks and they just cut it. But never mind, in the description you will find a link to AliExpress for this cable and that's pretty much it for today. See you soon.